Hey ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire. It's day three of Eden season three and I just want to update you on how the season's going and some changes uh, that we've had noticed today. So first off, um, season three, third day, I'm taking level 10 tiles. I'm a little bit behind on my loyalty. That always happens for me in the first week because, um, you know, the first day, well, first off, I live in Europe. Reset time is in the middle of the night for us. So I lose a few hours there. Then I'm doing the recruitment video and the kind of day one video. So I'm always a little bit behind in this first week, but I'm sure I'll catch up um, in that regard. Level 10 is okay for day three anyway. I prefer to be on level 11, but there you go. Um, the other thing to, so the other key thing to bring up straight away is this is kind of going to be the biggest change for this season and that is that you cannot take structures on Monday, Wednesday, Wednesdays, Friday and Saturdays almost certainly. Um, it looks like the developers have amended it so that you can only take structures on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday which would be a similar time frame to how normal Reign of Chaos on, se on seasons one to four worked. Um, for us anyway, where you could only have wars on those days. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what impact this has on the season because it's really going to restrict how much you can, um, how many structures you can take and it's going to really force guilds to push as hard as possible. You're going to need 200 active players as quickly as possible and you're going to have to hit multiple structures on Tuesday, Thursday and Sundays to be able to get up to get your occupation value up. Now, whether this is a policy so that actually, if you think about it, larger guilds can't dominate a map, maybe because they simply won't have enough stamina to take as many structures as they have been on just those three days. And that might make it a bit fairer that, say, some smaller guilds can occupy gates and they'll have a chance to to hold on to them until the end of the season and get some better rewards. Um, equally, it could um, encourage battles because on those days you're going to, you know, there might be several uh, guilds going for the same structures. And um, I guess it's kind of, it, it's rationalizing Eden to a point from that you, you don't have to be available every day to take structures. Um, so, you know, real life, it makes real life a little bit easier. Obviously, real life always comes first anyway. So having that kind of structure to the season might help as well. But only time will tell. So you'll see if you click on any structure on the map, it says start time and then um, from reset to night. So it will be on Thursday that we'll be able to attack. So personally, in our guild, we're looking to attack several structures tomorrow to make the most of it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to just highlight was um, the map. So if we go back to my castle, and we already had this kind of 3D effect on the map anyway, but now I, I'm pretty sure this is new for this season. I I don't remember it, but I'm, I'm sure these changes came in uh, in between the last season. But uh, obviously you already had these, uh, the, the you, we had the icons showing your heroes for the, each legion marching. And then if we zoom out a little bit more, and obviously we've got this change castle icon. So if we check, just move out a little bit more. Now we actually kind of get this view of the map which shows where all of your guild members are. And it'll all show, if you go to Alliance, if you click on Alliance, all these colored castles are players in your guild. And it actually shows the individual avatars for each player which is which is a nice touch i think um it's just you know an aesthetic touch and that and it looks good one thing that's kind of a buggy element is that it's not actually refreshing your uh legion marches so these these legions are not actually marching right now so that's a that's a bit of a, a bummer um obviously it so sh shows here as well um where your alliance master is where your alliance center is so i'm guessing that's structures that you've taken uh, and you can zoom various amounts of zoom on the map. I'm sure you guys have already done this anyway. Um, and you've got a little bit more detail to show towns and gates as well. The other thing is if you click on bookmark, 
then this will show you where your favorite friend and enemy targets are. So uh, the stars are your favorites, whether you've um, bookmarked a, a, a next level tile that you want to take or um, you know, if you've got an enemy, he's not really an enemy, I was just doing it for the video. Um, that will show up like that. And you could also just, let's find another castle. Here we go. Jezza. If you wanna make Jezza your friend, you can click OK, and then he'll appear on the map like that as well. So um, that's quite nice, to be honest. Um, you can still, once you're in this more zoomed level, you can click on the map icon bottom left here, and that will zoom out for you. And you'll still have your book, uh, your uh, guild bookmarks on here. It will show you where your corresponding guild members are with these icons and then they've slightly changed the images for the gates as well so they they look like that which is a bit nicer uh, and of course the coloring for the gates so um, this line these guys look pretty active over here don't they um, it's going to be interesting I think we're kind of the there are a couple of large, you know, strong powerhouses on our map that um, already have enemies from previous seasons, and they're already going at it today. Actually, you can probably see the news flashing up on, um, yeah, there we go. U17 and TUS are going at it on our map. Um, we are kind of, we haven't kind of worked out what we're doing as as yet, but um, we do have other, uh, we do have fellow um, alert guilds on this map who are allies of us so we might um, and there's a group of 60 of them so we might uh, match up with them um, in terms of the season with the guild so of course you want to be leveling up your guild so we already have a hundred players um, in our guild um, so we are we are filling up quickly and we will be we need to be pushing the level development so of course the main point on this is that when you um, when you take tiles, that will give you um, experience towards your guild um, so that you can level up. So the quicker you get high level tiles, the quicker your guild level will increase and therefore you can get more members into your guild, you can take more structures. So that's all like really important points for the early season. Um, I've been keeping an eye on the season rewards. The personal achievement is still at 50,000. I still think that's wrong. Um, look, I'm only at, I'm under 2,000 after three days. I have been doing plenty of bits on the quest as usual. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see about that. I'm sure it's, it's got to be wrong. It's got to be. Uh, seasonal challenge as well. So I did do the elite package. Uh, I'm only on level three at the moment. It is pretty, this initial week is a little bit difficult. Um, you're waiting to do 20 refreshes on the harvests. Um, Take 10 enemy tiles. I could probably take some somebody's plain tiles, to be honest. And then um, claim influence value rewards 10 times as well. Um, so it's just a bit of time waiting for these two. And um, I should definitely hit Coalition Base Camp level 10 um, either by the end of today or tomorrow. So I will hit what I'm looking, what you're looking to do if you have the elite package is you really want to hit level five as quickly as possible because this gives you your extra processing queue. Um, so if you've done that, if you've used your spec points how I have, where I've just added the one queue, then obviously that's giving you an extra 50% on top um, having the free queue. So that is um, again, one of the big early season bonuses from doing um doing the seasonal doing the elite seasonal challenge and the other thing of course uh, you want to go to your privilege and claim your rewards extra honor and hero xp every day because there's a 24 hour countdown on that of course some people big spenders they can actually purchase levels so they could click on the purchase level spend when well, the uk it's 100 pounds to level up three levels uh, oh no that's four levels actually isn't it and level over level up to one level is 1949 hmm. or maybe you have to be at level five to then be able to level up to level eight so if you're a big spender of course you can push this and then that's going to give you that extra processing queue um also 
there are the gift packs which give 500,000 construction material uh, as well so that's that's 10 well basically 10 pounds in the UK um, so those kind of things are what um, you know spenders will be doing this week just to push up um, their ability to um, basically hit higher level tiles so in terms of using your spec points what I've done is the best method and then you know unfortunately if you're if you've got spent if you've got spenders then they're going to be able to push a little bit quicker than you with those packages I've just shown um, so there we go guys that is day three um, so far we've taken a level two gate as well um, we're looking to as I say take as many structures as we can tomorrow start getting a foothold and um, build up our occupation value which is what Eden is all about um, of course, if we do get into any battles, I'm going to be trying my best to bring the, that that footage to you. I know everyone likes a good tear up, so um, hopefully we'll have some nice active videos in this season of Eden for you. Um, but that is it for this video. If you've liked it, please do click on that like. And if uh, this is the first video that you're watching on the channel or you haven't already, why not click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel, which is daily. And if you could please share my channel in your Alliance chat, province chat, and through Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in your Alliance and Guild, that would be absolutely brilliant. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.